this video I'm kind of reluctant to make but um, hope everybody's in good spirits I hope everybody good I know it's a struggle in the truck industry right now man um, just gotta continue to keep your heads up um, stay prayed up I always say that but yeah um, right now I'm picking up in Huntsville, Alabama. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Ready, set, go. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K back. Y'all know the channel, man. It's been a long time, man. I'm sorry for the wait, man. I had a lot going on. You'll learn more about that in the next video. But I was set with a ultimate decision. Um, so basically what happened was around the time when um, I was about to have my second son, um, I had a quota I needed to meet. It wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It was just a certain number I needed to hit in order to be able to do other things I needed to do, which you'll learn about later. The truck went down before I could meet that quota. When you go down, the bills don't stop. You just have no way to pay for it. Um, well, unless you have reserves and in this industry, well, Sometimes you just don't have as much as you think you would have. Um, everybody that says, oh, should have had money set aside, I did. But when your truck goes down on you three times within like the span of a month and a half, those reserves can get depleted, man. So I had a quote I needed me. I had other things I had to do in order to further my, myself. Um, Cause trucking isn't the only thing I'm interested in. It's not the only thing that um, brings me joy. It's not the only thing that makes me money. So um, it's just something I had to do. So all in all, it went down on me again and I had to make a decision um, whether um, the truck industry was still for me, whether the truck was still for me and stuff like that. We're going to get into that a little bit later, but that's what happened. Sorry for the wait. I hope y'all, um, continue to come, continue to support. Um, cause I was in a bad space, man. Um, and I don't like giving negative energy on here. So my outlook on the trucking industry as it is really has changed man um as y'all may know if you're in the industry if you're not if you're looking to get in rates are looking tough right now man um it's it's hard out here for anybody 18 wheeler van reefer flatbed still doing their thing but they're still lower than they once were so um so that ultimately affects a uh, straight box. And if your overhead is too high, it makes the outlook on everything um, just not make sense at all. And a big thing for me is making things make sense. It has to make sense in my head. Uh, there's many times I come in the house and I've had something on my mind. I tell my wife, just give me like 30 minutes. I gotta figure this out, I gotta write this down. Cause I have to make everything make sense, man. Um, yeah, but the trucking industry is tough right now. I hope y'all are keeping y'all heads up. Um, Cause I know it's not as easy to get out of this. It affects your credit, it affects your business credit and other things that you want to do um, in your li in your life. Or um, maybe some of the, maybe this is some of y'all's livelihood. So, um, Y'all just stay up, man. My outlook on loads, man. 
Lows are tough. It's tough to come by, honestly, $2 a mile. I try to look over $2 a mile, but sometimes you, well, first off, you have to know your cost of operating. I'm going to get a video on that because it needs to be more awareness to how how you operate your business and to stop stop people from running cheap freight or to stop people from losing money because even though you may think oh i'm making a thousand dollars on this run well if you making a thousand dollars running um a dollar and fifty cent and your cost to operate is two dollars you losing money every time you move your truck so i'm gonna make a video on that but you have to you have to know that um, and I knew my cost to operate, it was, it was pretty high at that point. Um, but the lows, you just have to know your parameters. You have to know what lanes you're running, what bad call you're going to get. And you have to take those risks and assess everything that you do. So, um, I mean, that's all that can be said about that. All right. So at this point in the video, man, um, did I sell my truck? So prior to um, everything that went on, my cost to operate was probably a dollar and eighty cent without me even having a salary. Uh, so if I wanted to have a forty or fifty or sixty k, whatever you think you want to make, you're looking at well over two dollars and. 20 cent, $2.40 cent a mile to even profit and make, make your margins. So, um, I sat down and looked at that as I was preparing to bring my other, well, preparing to help my wife, well, my girlfriend, that fiance at the time, bring in our son. Um, it was, it was a decision for me, as you're going to see, um, I'm going to insert a clip right here. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, <laughs> the world of K. I'm back with another one. As y'all can see, man, I'm peeling the numbers off my truck, man. As you can see by the title of the video. Hope there's no more. She finna be gone, y'all. What you doing, bud? Clean dad truck. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, yes, I had to sell hope. Ah. Uh, I would hope I didn't have to do that, but it was just the best decision for me. Um, I'm going to give you the specs of it. I really could have probably got on here and probably sold it. But um, all in all, I basically, before the warranties and all that, the truck was 35 grand when I, when, um, I originally got it from Penske. So I wound up selling it for 36. Um, um, you might, the clips might not show it, but um, it had almost 400,000 miles on it. Still a great truck. I just had to put some more work into it. Um, if the guy that's watching this video um, that bought it, cause he actually seen me on YouTube while we were talking, but I did post it on Facebook Marketplace and it's a small world we live in. I'm glad that people actually see my videos. So um, y'all just continue to like and, like and subscribe, man. So it can get out there. But yeah, it's a great truck, man. Um, I put almost uh, 170, 175,000 miles on it, man. And it was a great truck. Um, but I just couldn't continue to operate at that level. Well, not at that level, but at that high CPM cost per mile. So, um, cause, uh, that truck note was almost $1,700. 
insurance on it was seventeen, a little bit over seventeen hundred dollars. So I had to get rid of that. Um, unfortunately, but fortunately, I found a suitable buyer. It took some time, honestly, and uh, God bless me to be able to find somebody that would be the suitable owner. So, um. So am I out of the trucking industry at this point in time? No, I honestly thought about getting out, but then I thought about all the other revenue and stuff that could come from it. And other things, I just learned that other things I'm getting into would, would balance this out because I love the trucking business. Um, it's a love-hate relationship sometimes, but honestly, I wouldn't change anything for the world. So, um, also, um, with selling, with selling my box truck, you know, I had to keep my insurance and stuff like that. So, you know, I went ahead and, um, purchased another truck. Um, I took out a little personal loan and um, so I wouldn't have to uh, divert all of my capital towards that. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. As y'all can see, this is a 2014 Freightliner, year year older. Um, honestly, this truck probably drives better than International I had before. It really, it's, it seems like a very powerful truck. It has more miles on it, but if y'all only knew the deal I got on it. Um, shout out to Mr. Virgil, man. Um, Around the time when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do, y'all. God made a way and he slid somebody on in there and made it where that I can get out of it clean with a little bit of profit and be able to further my business and lower my overhead. The name of this game, man, is lowering your overhead. I mean, you always going to have that insurance payment. You always going to. Uh, well, you're not going to have a truck payment for it's only the term of whatever it is. Um, you can pay multiple payments on it, but in this business, it's kind of hard to do that unless you, you know what I'm saying? You're making $5 a mile every time in a box truck. So, um, yeah, man, I'm still in the trucking industry. It's going to be videos coming out, hopefully two, um, two a week, um, I'm gonna try it. Hold me to that, y'all. So, I actually invested in some new equipment that you're looking at this from the perspective of. So, um, if you're new, subscribe, um, like, like the video. If you liked it, got any information out of it, um, be putting out more informational videos. Uh, give me any ideas y'all got on. Um, in the comments, man. Um, I had changed a lot about this business because it was. You have to know where every dollar is going. I will tell you that. So, um, 
Y'all just stay up, man. I, yeah. So, it's just a lot. But anybody that's out there that's doing it, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. Stay up. Stay prayed up. Stay loaded. It's your boy K. And I'm gone.